Good morning. Uh, it's Small Biz David, and uh, we've been talking with uh, our live audience uh, at stickham.com. Uh, if you are new to uh, Small Biz David and our YouTube and the things we're doing on YouTube and David's Barter community, uh, that's really what, if you are viewing on YouTube, uh, we, we want you to go to David's Barter community and, and, and we, we have built and are developing a community uh, that the major objective uh, is to help provide the, 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 the social marketing and the social network technology so that new businesses, new small businesses can be started right now. Uh, in no time in, in the last 40 years that I've seen uh, has there been uh, a, a, such a transitional period of business uh, as we are seeing right now. Uh, starting about five years ago, uh, unemployment uh, started to creep into our economy and uh, became a major, major problem uh, and still remains a problem because not a new enough job not a new not enough new jobs are being created so it's got to come from the creation of new businesses job number one is the individual uh, who has the business that's job number one uh, in fact uh, the entrepreneurs pledge I'm not going to read the whole pledge but uh, one of them says one of the Commitment clauses says, I am following a dream, uh, pursuing an upper, well, let's get it in bigger type. I am following a dream, pursuing a, oh, here it is, uh, bringing something of value to society making a job for myself and for others and creating wealth that benefits my family, my community, my country, my world. That's uh, at the Entrepreneur's Pledge. That's just one clause of the pledge. Uh, you can find that at buildastrongeramerica.com, buildastrongeramerica.com. Uh, it's something that I like to read at least once a month. Read out loud at least once a month uh, because I have s experiences about every single thing that is said in there as I read it. I just think about all those experiences I've had in the in the last 40 years and it is. It's, it's, it's what we are, what we do, why we do it. Uh, we need to start uh, as many new businesses as we possibly can right now. Uh, so, uh, we have created a landing page. We are a community of landing pages. Once you come into the community, oh, you will register. You register at davidsbarter.com if you haven't done it already. But if you're, well, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, you ne haven't necessarily. Uh, but if you're watching it inside of our community, obviously you've registered. Uh, every Every day, this is I was showing. This is a landing page that uh, I created yesterday. Uh, it took me about a half hour to do it. There is a big mistake. There's a couple mistakes that I I just couldn't figure out how to get rid of them. But there's simple fixes. Uh, this area here somehow uh, there's an overlay on top of it. That's just uh, something technology. How do you pull that overlay off? And some code came up here. Uh, it's the first time the code has come up, so I've done something not right that uh, Curtis will fix me, uh, help me get it fixed. And then we uh, need to insert, I think. I don't think he's done it yet. Now, at the bottom of the page here, right here, let me take this off and give you a closer look at that. Mm. 
That's a landing page. The name of that landing page is Dreaming with Entrepreneurs. Uh, it's, there, there needs to be some graphic changes to that. Uh, this space up here, which is going to be made smaller, we need to put a new module in here. But you could put uh, whatever artwork uh, it is that you wanted. Uh, in my case, uh, Small Biz David is an avatar. And so that avatar is the thing that, uh, that identifies us. Uh, and we use it as much as we possibly can uh, so that there's a consistency as people see it. Uh, they see it in my Google Plus. They see it in uh, YouTube's and in, in the coding that we do uh, in YouTube's. Um, uh, they see it in LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, we now have uh, over 10,000 Twitter followers. Uh, we're just trying to understand what's the best thing to do with our Twitter followers. Twitter is a different. Uh, I haven't spent enough time using it personally, uh, create content for it, but I've not gotten into the technology of uh, Twitter as much as I need to. But it's a fascinating, uh, it's a fascinating tool, and uh, we're going to learn learn how to use it well. And what I think I'm going to do, so if you are a tweeter, or you know people who tweet, and we'll get it out on our Twitter. Actually, I'll be able to take this video uh, and tweet it. Tweet a link to this video. All of our landing pages uh, make uh, that capability uh, uh, possible. Uh, you put it on there, and if you want to send it to your Facebook friends, or your uh, LinkedIn friends, or your... Actually, now it's... Uh, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google+. Those are the only four share buttons uh, that, uh, that are available on uh, virtually every page. When you go to the Community Bullet Board, let's uh, go back to the Community Bulletin Board for a second. Once you uh, register to come into the community, uh, you uh, when you come back in and you log into the community, you're always taken to the community bullet board. Every day, uh, these questions uh, change. Well, I, I add more questions every day. Those are the uh, things uh, for discussion of the day in the community. We uh, Very early in the day, we then make a YouTube uh, of that particular question. Uh, and... Uh, less than 10 minutes after it is uh, completed, uh, I'm able to take uh, the YouTube that I've just done and let's, we'll click on the question, why does small biz David use Google every day? Uh, so here's the question, here's the short answer, the keywords, and then there's a video uh, of my response to that question. That was a, uh, must have been a pretty good one because it's now circulating inside of Google. Well, it's circulating inside of Google if I'm doing it on YouTube. But uh, I had a discussion with uh, Amber yesterday. Uh, Amber is my very smart uh, uh, manager, account manager of, uh, of uh, a Google AdWords account uh, that I am setting up. I made a commitment to set it up. I've just started to learn about uh, uh, Google AdWords in the last four or five weeks. It's amazing that I've stayed away from it uh, for as long as I have, but I just never had an opportunity. I was always promoting my words uh, instead of 
well, I guess I could have always used Google Hours, but it wasn't, it, we, we didn't have the right environment to do it, but now we do. So I, I made a commitment to, uh, to a budget, and uh, I told Amber yesterday, I said I want one more week of uh, analysis on our end so that I can understand all the traffic and how it's moving around the community. And once I have a total understanding of that, I'll be ready to uh, make a commitment. So uh, we will meet again next Friday on the telephone, and uh, I will give her an update as to what I have found, and, and then ultimately what uh, what are her recommendations as being from Google. Uh, I want all the help I can get. You have the knowledge and the understanding. How do we make it work for us? And so we're uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, we know we know it's going to drive traffic uh, to the community. Not a question at all. Uh, the question is how much traffic uh, is, is going to be driven with those adwords. Uh, we see an increase uh, in activity. And how long is this particular? Okay, I am. Uh, I'm going to keep it uh, 15 minutes on this one, and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to another one. Although I got a message that says uh, I'm allowed to make my YouTube's longer than 15 minutes. I don't know how long do I want to make them. What's the right number? I've I've done uh, some of the answers to these questions have been two minute answers. Uh, why Small Biz David uses Google every day. I think that was uh, close to a 12-minute answer, and I could have made it 112 or 212. Uh, I use Google every day because it, it uh, is the premier technology uh, in helping me to achieve the business goals and objectives of the community. And so we have to understand as much as we possibly can uh, I understand the marketing concepts well enough. Uh, been doing them a long time, and uh, Curtis has been studying uh, Google and the algorithms and how it works for uh, 11 years. So we're just getting together, and uh, uh, that's how we're building the community. Uh, our social marketing—that's me—and uh, Curtis's social network technology—that's his skills. Together, we are going to build a community that shows growth every day. And that's a good thing. Uh, as a matter of fact, in the next 100 days, uh, we will have 1 million page views uh, to our community. Uh, that's the mindset. That's the uh, that's really the only objective because when we have uh, one million page views uh, in the community, uh, all the other things that need to happen they have to happen with with that many page views. When you have your own landing page, obviously our job then becomes how to help drive traffic to your uh, particular uh, your particular page. Your, uh, your domain, and we know how to do that. Uh, you have to put the, uh, well, there's, there, there, there's some technology that you never see. Uh, the technology that you do see, uh, you have to use uh, small business keywords uh, that we've created. Uh, 749 of them uh, are found in this book. Uh, the book I wrote four years ago, uh, and that's why we make the book very easily downloadable to you. Uh, actually, uh, I should have uh, been marking the book that way from the very first time, but uh, it it doesn't matter. We we, we were we were playing with a concept. Uh, it it made a lot of sense. It made people stop and think about what's going on. Why are they doing the things that they're doing what can they do better that's that's uh, the message that we send uh, in everything that we talk about 
if you download a, a, a copy of the book, you can take notes. Uh, when I uh, when I wrote a question, I purposely designed it as a workbook so that uh, there was white space and uh, you could write in the answer to that question. And uh, if it was important to you, not all 749 questions are going to be important to you. Uh, they obviously were to me, and I just want to share with you my experiences uh, in those uh, 749. And at the Community Bulletin Board, each day I add some new key words to the list that's already here because of what's happening uh, in today's marketplace. Uh, it's very important that uh, I have an understanding of what's going on and how I can use that information uh, to make our community uh, a, a better place to, uh, to spend time. Speaking about spending time in community, I'm going to end uh, this little segment with a Facebook story. Uh, Facebook, the most fascinating uh, entrepreneurship case studies, uh, certainly not one of the most, the most I've, that I've seen uh, in, in, uh, in my 40 years. It's just an amazing thing to see how much growth there was. Uh, and uh, on the Zuck's 28th birthday, I just talked to a, a, a fellow, a Joe in my uh, cardio training class, cardiovascular training class, and he, uh, he uh, advises clients. He's, he's a financial planner. And uh, he was telling me, that the numbers I gave him were on the high side. It doesn't matter. Uh, the Zuck on his 28th birthday will be worth a minimum of his 28 years or $28 billion to figures I've been reading uh, over $41 billion. What a fascinating story that's been. Even more fascinating is the, the, the fact, the data, that of the soon to be 1 billion profiles, soon to be, I predict it's going to come in May also, another birthday present for the Zuck. Uh, of, of the 1 billion profiles, uh, half of them spend up to three hours a day inside of the Facebook community, which is a, a, a mind boggling number. Uh, that people spend that much time on Facebook. <laughs> uh, it, it just, that's, that's the value proposition that uh, Facebook brings uh, to the marketplace. Uh, sheer numbers, yes, uh, but the amount of time that people spend inside of Facebook, that's even uh, a more important number uh, because it, it tells you uh, it gives you the good indicators of, you know, who, who the active users are uh, from a marketing purpose. Uh, I, uh, I've never been able to justify a, um, a Facebook ad. I, don't, I certainly don't know enough about them, but I, I just don't think that I would get the results that I needed to get uh, for, uh, for any kind of investment, uh, be it $1, be it... Uh, a thousand dollars. There's um, well, first of all, there's there's a billion people that at any point in time can use Facebook. That's an awful lot of folks to uh, to to market to. Uh, you can get your niche, and they. they uh, I'm going to assume too that keywords are going to play a part of, of driving traffic uh, to a Facebook ad page. I, I'm. I'm not sure how it works. I haven't spent any time studying it. But what we are going to do in the, in the David's Barter community is play the Facebook family fun game. I'm going to end this one and publish it and start another. Let's see you soon. Or you'll